An emotional farewell message has been sent to the Tottenham Hotspur fans from former Spurs midfielder Deli Ali. The squad numbers for the new signings. Kuliszewski speaks out about joining the club. Spurs will now not appeal UEFA's decision, throwing us out of the Europa Conference League. And reports are stating that Spurs made a deadline day bid for Aston Villa midfielder Douglas Luiz for around £30 million. Welcome back to the channel, hope you're all keeping safe and well. In today's video, I'll be going through all of the latest Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news, as well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel. You can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. Let's start today's video by talking about a very emotional uh, goodbye message from former Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Deli Alley, who of course has just signed for Everton on transfer deadline day. He said, it's the end of a chapter, but not the book. Thank you for all of the messages. I've had an incredible seven years at Tottenham and have made some lifelong friends that now feel like family. I want to wish my brothers all of the very best for the rest of the season and more. To the fans, I want to say thank you. We've had some incredible moments together that will stay with me for the rest of my life and I will never forget the amazing support you have given me. Playing for you was a dream come true and you will always be in my heart. I want to give a special mention to Maurizio Pochettino and his staff for their trust and guidance in the early part of my career at Spurs, which gave me the confidence and platform to show what I can do. I love you all and wish you all the best for the future. Delhi. Now, my thoughts on Delhi's message, well, of course, it is very emotional, isn't it? And, uh, you know, he's been a, a fantastic player for Tottenham. Um, of course, the last couple of years, he hasn't been on form. He hasn't delivered for Tottenham. And uh, But I just think that all of us expected yesterday on transfer deadline day, we all expected him to leave. We just didn't expect him to go out on a permanent transfer. I think that most of us thought that he would go out on loan. He would do extremely well out on loan. He would come back get into that Tottenham Hotspur shirt again and we would see the old Deli Alley. Well, of course, it's not to be. Everton have signed him. I wish him all of the very, very best. Uh, I've got some wonderful memories of Deli Alley. Uh, you know, that goal against Palace, the, the couple of goals against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge when we hadn't won there for 28 years, the goals against Chelsea at White Hart Lane, some wonderful memories from Deli Alley. And as I say, I hope that he is extremely successful in the future. An announcement from Tottenham Hotspur Football Club earlier and they are stating that the squad numbers for our two deadline day arrivals from Juventus have now been confirmed. Rodrigo Bentecourt will wear the number 30 shirt for us whilst uh, Dijan Kuliszewski will wear the number 21 shirt. Now, another official announcement from the club earlier today, confirming that under-18's FA Youth Cup fifth round tie against Wolverhampton Wanderers will take place at Molyneux on Saturday the 12th of Feb. Kickoff time will be 1pm. It also states that tickets for Spurs supporters can be purchased in advance by calling the Wolves ticket office uh, and stating that they require an away fan ticket. Tickets are priced at just £3 for adults and £2 for concessions and under-17s. And Spurs have also stated as a result of this scheduling for the FA Youth Cup tie, our under-18 Premier League fixture at home to Norwich City has now been moved to Friday the 15th of April. Kick-off will be 12 noon at Hotspur Way. New Tottenham Hotspur signing Dijan Kuliszewski has been talking out about joining Spurs on transfer deadline day and said, I feel very good, I'm happy to be here, very grateful for this opportunity that Spurs have given me. The Premier League has always been the league since I was 15 that I was thinking about playing in the Premier League because it's what we watched in Sweden. That was the best league in the world and I still think it is. It's just another world. Dijan then went on to say, I always want to go forward, I always want to score more goals. I'm not the type, if we're winning 2 or 3 nil, I'm not going to go back and defend the result. I want to play, enjoy, have fun and score goals. I'm very happy just coming here with fresh energy, a new club, a new stadium. I can't wait to meet the fans, to get to know the whole club, the players in the team. It is just exciting times. I'm so happy to be here, really. It's a dream come true being here. 
A report has just been published by the Daily Mail and they are stating that Aston Villa turned down three offers for Douglas Luiz in the January transfer window, including one deadline day bid from Tottenham for the Brazilian midfielder, also linked with a £30 million Arsenal move. The report states that Aston Villa rejected three offers for midfielder Douglas Luiz, including one on deadline day from Tottenham Hotspur. The 23-year-old has fewer than 18 months left on his deal at the West Midlands club, and boss Steven Gerrard confirmed last week that discussions had not been opened over a contract extension. Arsenal also linked with a £30 million January move for the Brazil international, who has previously worked with Macau Arteta at Manchester City, while rivals Spurs ended up signing fellow... Uh, central midfielder Rodrigo Bentecourt from Juventus. A report has just been published by Football.London and they are stating that Tottenham make decision on Europa Conference League exit with Antonio Conte given fixture boost. Tottenham have revealed their final decision over their Europa Conference League exit after their game against Rennes was postponed. It states that Tottenham will not appeal against the Europa Conference League exit with the fixtures for the next round due to be played this month. Um, it was reported at the start of the year that whether the club would appeal UEFA's decision to award Wren a 3-0 victory in what was meant to be Tottenham's last group game of the competition was in the hands of the club lawyers. So my thoughts on this, um, I'm a little bit disappointed that we're not in a European competition um, in the second part of the season. It just feels weird. I'm so used to Tottenham Hotspur being in a European competition. Yes, I know a lot of Spurs fans' views um, You know, is not the competition we ever wanted to be in. But of course, it was our level. We finished seventh in the Premier League last season. Um, you know, The season before, we got a Europa League spot. But those seasons before that... We were used to playing Champions League football and that is exactly where we want to be again. With Antonio Conte, uh, you know, having brought in a couple of new signings now, a number of players have gone out the door. Um, we've got to eye that fourth spot and, uh, you know, wouldn't it be nice to be playing in the Champions League again next season? Thanks, Chris, and hello to everybody watching. I'm Bill from Football Prizes. I'm just here to tell you about the weekly Spurs prizes that we run on the site. Some of our previous Spurs prizes range from the likes of signed shirts and boots and mounts from players such as Harry Kane, Son Hyun Min and Lucas, right through to club legends like Paul Gascoigne and Jurgen Klinsmann. You can watch the live draws on our Facebook page and you can go on our site and see the previous Spurs winners as well as what prizes we have to offer at www.footballprizes.co.uk. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do let me know all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you on the next video. Stay safe and well. Come on, you Spurs.